Oh, yes. It's hey, happening. Mosey. Oh, hey, honey. Hey, honey. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Eating Our Best Life with Mike and Lawrence. And um, honey, where do you think that we are gonna go to today? So today is a really special day on Eating yes. Our Best Life. It's a special day for us because we have not had this food in about like two years, I wanna say. Definitely, well, definitely two years. So we are gonna do takeout from one of our favorites. That's right, P.F. P. Changs. Changers. P.F. Changs. P.F. Changers <laughs> in the building, guys. And we've been getting a lot of requests for uh, Asian bistro or Chinese food. Um, I think I said it correctly, right guys? Yeah, it's P.F. Chang's a China Bistro. A China Bistro, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna order right now. So let's it's do, happening. ooh, dynamite shrimp for sure. Yes. Okay, right. appetizers got, first, honey. I did dynamite shrimp, right? Is that in, under the appetizers, honey? Yeah, northern style spare ribs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you wanted. Yep. Handmade pork dumplings. Yes. You love those. Okay, we'll do those steamed. Steamed. Okay. Okay, add to order. And then I'm gonna do the shrimp dumplings fried though. Okay. Let's Change go. it up. Ooh, vegetable spring rolls. Do we want that? Yeah, vegetable okay. spring rolls, definitely. We're getting pretty much mostly all the appetizers on <laughs> their menu. We need to try everything. This is a review show of P.F. Changers, and thank you guys for coming along for the ride. Hot and sour soup. You must order some sort of soup when you have Chinese food. Facts. I actually like all their soups, but I'm gonna go with hot and sour today. Which one are you going with, honey? I'm gonna do the wonton soup. Oh, I love a good wonton. All right, Kung Pao chicken, no. Ginger chicken with broccoli. Definitely ginger chicken with broccoli. With white rice. Yep. Oh, if I'm dieting so much. Um, sweet and sour chicken. Yes, yes, get sweet and sour chicken with rice. Um, I don't often eat rice, so um, on a cheat day, I love either some rice or some pasta. Honey, don't forget the Ooh, lo mein. Mongolian beef. Don't forget the lo mein. Okay. Mongolian beef? Yeah. Yeah, you're not a fan of Mongolian beef, but you're gonna have to ch check it out. I'm gonna get it. Okay. What else, anything else? Um, I think we got everything. Did you get the, uh, it was a Kung Pao Shrimpers? Oh, Kung Pao Shrimp. Kung Pao Shrimpers. There we go. Mm-hmm. And get some, uh... Fried rice. Fried rice and get the signature lo mein as well, okay? You can't get Chinese food if you don't get lo mein. Just, you just can't do it. <laughs> Dramatic. Um, I don't I think, think that's it all. I mean, do we want to do dessert or we want to just go ride out with like the classic? I, I don't think that we should. I don't think we should do dessert. I don't think the dessert is going to um, last hold on your know, hold up from the drive home. So I think that we're just get some fortune cookies, though. OK, well, ride out with the classic fortune cookies are a must. I'm big into positive vibes only. And P.F. Changers, don't let me down because I'm expecting some good fortune today, guys. The food has arrived. I don't know about you, honeys, but I'm ready to dig in. I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited about this. We dedicated a shirt to this kind of meal, and we are wearing said shirt. And said shirt. Said shirt. I like that. <laughs> I like that. So, a crab rangoon is one of my favorite things ever. So, what is your shirt? Your shirt. So the shirt says that. I'm a S-L-U-T for a, a crab rangooner. Well, I'm a slut for a crab rangooner as well, <laughs> and my beautiful wife next to me. But before we get into all of this, I'm sure you guessed it once again. It's going down. First things first, I gotta pop the top. It's happening. Diet soda in my cup. Let's get it. And honey, I think it's only right, because this is the first time we're doing Chinese. Um, we had to order the soup. Oh, of course. You, know. you can't get Chinese food and not have soup. Yeah. Even though it is summer, it's like a rite of passage to start with soup. 
Okay. At a good Chinese place. So I picked the sweet and sour soup, which hot I- Hot and sour. This is hot and sour? Hot and sour. Hot and sour. Anyway, I also do like a wontoner right there. Yeah. And I do like egg drop, but I, if I had to pick just one, I'm gonna try the hot and sour. This is hot and sour? That's hot and sour. Hot and sour soup. And I, I want that one. You wanna try this one too? Yeah, but I'm gonna All try right, this one. All right, we're gonna too. try it, see how it is. I like it. I like it too. We haven't had this in so long. Yeah, like since before you were in prison. Yeah. That long. I like it, it's good. This is really good. Like delicious. Yep. Again, guys, we've been getting a lot of crests for PF Chang's. So yeah. here we are. So we're we ordered takeout from PF Chang's. We had to drive a little bit because they don't deliver to our area, but it is so good that we made that special trip for you today. Yep. All right. I think I want to have that soup. You want to swap? The soup is really good. It's good. All right. You want to try mine? Yeah. Yeah, the soup is very good. The and soup is really good. Word on the street is P.F. Chang'er's is a very high quality. Is it? Is this Asian bistro or is this Chinese restaurant? What do you call this? I'm gonna have to have to ask our behind the scenes cameraman. A few moments later. Well, the um, information is in, guys. Test results came back, and it is a Chinese bistro. Wow. Right, honey? P.F. Chang's a China bistro. Bistro. China bistro. Wow. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I am so hungry yes. that I can't even Exactly. Think. Well, we didn't come this far just I've, to come this far because I've, I'm putting the soup aside right now. Soup to the side. Soup aside, and I'm going in on the appetizers. Honey, explain what we have here. Okay, so we have dumplings two ways here. We Ooh. have hand-folded, pan-fried shrimp or dumplings. With the shrimpers in it. With the shrimps. Then yep. we have my husband's favorite, the pork, pork. dumpling, which are hand-folded as well, but okay. they are steamed. The dipping sauces. And then my all-time favorite, which is the crab rangoon. Hence the shirt that says, I'm a slut for a crab rangoon. You can get it at the Sitch store, www.thesituationsplural.store.com. And they call it the crab wonton yes. at P.F. Chang. If you want to get it. I ordered two orders of it because I need to have leftovers. I love it that much. I think it's a crab rangooner. It is a crab rangoon. Then we have uh, the northern style spare ribs, which mm -hmm. the northern style are dry rubs, and the other version is like wet sauce. So we did the dry rub. Dynamite shrimps. Okay. And uh, vegetable shrimp. spring roll. Oh, that's a sorry, that's a vegetable spring roll. You're vegetable right. Vegetable spring roll, yeah. So we have like appetizer galore, which when we go to PF Chang's, this is what we love to do. Yes. Get a little bit of all of our favorites. And, and because most of the restaurants are closed right now, obviously some are opening up outside. This is a takeout version yes. of a review of PF Chang's. So I'm going right for my Oh my, my gosh, crabby. straight for the crab rangooner. I'm gonna okay. take two of them. Um, I'm gonna go for the vegetable spring roll. I'm gonna try the dry, this is a dry rub, spare rubber. Um, Give me a spring roll. A little spring roll for the wife. Bring this a little closer. And um, this is, a, is this? What Dynamite shrimp. Dynamite shrimpers. I think they're tempura fried and then they have like a spicy sauce on them. Okay. I'm gonna take a pork dumpling. I love some pork dumplings. I'm gonna try some crab rangooners. And these shrimpers. The get, get the sauces out, honey. And Ooh, this yeah. is what's happening. Yeah, throw some sauces on that. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, then we'll do some dumpling sauce. Yeah. Dumpling sauce. Exactly. Okay. You could take a sauce if you want it. All right, okay. I gotta dive in, guys. Yes, let's go. Let's have I gotta it. dive in. I'm going first for the shrimper. The shrimper dumpling. We know what here. I'm going for first. All right, I'm having a hard time here. I enjoyed that because I haven't had it in such a while. Wow. It's that good. That is the face <laughs> my wife makes when it's one of her favorite things right there. I haven't had this all quarantine long. Like, I haven't had this maybe in two years. Okay. I got so excited that Let like, I made a Let me join in on mess. the fun. I'm going for the crab rangooner. Good. It's good. It's good, and it's got a nice crisp to it, too. Yeah. A nice crunch to it. And the filling is really good as well. So, and this is takeout, guys. Yeah. There is some 
depreciation from the ride home from pickup. We're gonna have to add that in because we've been doing a lot of takeout and a lot of the commenters are saying that there's a difference between when you finally get the food to when it's finally driven home. So it seems that P.F. Changers has made a product that survives the drive home. Yeah, and we heat everything up too, so keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Well, I was, I'm a big fan of that crab rangoon. It was really good. Nice and crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm. The shrimp dumpling is really good. The shrimp dumpling was good. Wow. I'm going in for the porker right now. This is the pork dumpling. And it seems that I'm using my hands, which means it's probably good. I know. I'm going back and forth between hands and a fork. Um, really good. I'm definitely enjoying this. These appetizers are actually very good, right honey? Did you try the shrimp? I did not. So the shrimp are tempura fried, so they're supposed to be crispy, but because we do have the depreciation. Mine, mine was crispy. Yours was crispy? Yeah. Well, I heated it up in the microwave, so I think it made it a little mushy, but if I put it in the toaster oven, it'll try be delish. One. Let me try a different one. Try a different one. They taste great, but they're a little, I just tasted it. Mm. I'm gonna try it again because I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> this is the Bang Bang Shrimpers or Dynamite Shrimpers? Dynamite Shrimp. Dynamite Shrimpers, okay. Well. I'm really into the dumplings and I don't always love dumplings, but they're legit. Crab Rangoon, exceptional. Dumpling, fantastic. We're gonna have to make a plate for our cameraman because we're gonna have to go on to the next Entrees very soon. Obviously, we have to try the vegetable spring rolls, but this is very I think good. This goes in the spring roll, this little sauce. Mm -hmm. Mosey's trying to get anything he can get. Oh, Mosey's a big fan of uh, China Bistros. Asparagus are good too. You like a good vegetable spring roll? I do like a vegetable spring roll. Well, this is really good. Listen, Peef Changers is. Doing, doing pretty good. Well, listen. I have not much to say this episode because I'm enjoying the food. Yeah. <laughs> as I, as I, what, well, as I am. As am I. As am I. As am I, yeah. <laughs> you have food on your face. Food on my face. It's happening. At well, least I. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm gonna try some of this slaw here that came with, uh, what did the slaw come with, honey? I'm a the big, rivers? They came with the rivers. I'm a big and, fan of slaw. And the dynamite shrimp. You do love a good slaw. I do love, and these rivers are really good. Before I... I'm getting kind of full, so let's move on. No? Well, I, I think I'm gonna have one more pork dumplings. And honey, can you go get a plate for, uh, let's make a plate for Danny. Also, another favorite, another fan favorite of mine at P.F. Chang's, which I did not get today only because it's cheat day and we are splurging. Yes, we are. But on like a regular day, if I go to P.F. Chang's, I'll get their lettuce wraps, which are amazing. Yep. And they're not bad for you because they have lettuce cups as the wrap. Um, but today was like a big splurge of fried food. And we wanted to go in on the on egg rolls and things stuff. like that, you know? I didn't see egg rolls on their menu. Well, here's a vegetable spring roll. Uh -huh. It's pretty good. I can't believe Mosey's trying to get it. Yo, know, Mosey is like, he wants the food. Lately, he's, he's He knows where it's at. Mm -hmm. Well, this is pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next? Yes, can you got please a get a plate for Danny? Taking my crab around good on the road. Yes. As you can see guys, when we have extra food, it goes to behind the camera, to the guys that are making this all happen. Big shout out to Adapting Social in the building and Danny doing such a great job on all our videos. Well, they must have forgot the fried rice. <laughs> uh, not the fried rice, the lo mains. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Do you uh, want to talk about it? Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed, guys. It seems we have gotten the food and we have 
no low main, and I haven't had that in, in a very long time, so I'm a bit disappointed. Somebody forgot. <laughs> Somebody forgot to order the low main. But listen, it is what it is. We got almost everything else on the menu. Listen, it's one of the risks when you dine out. Sometimes things are forgotten. Really? And it looks like they forgot the sweet and sour chickens too. No, this, so this is interesting. This is the sweet and sour chicken now. Usually you get like the orange sauce on the side, but they decided to mix it for you. Really? This, like, I don't, I don't believe so. I'll show you the, 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 the I tab, don't believe so. Since he doesn't believe me. I'm going to smell this right now. I'm going to let you know this is not sweet and sour chicken. This is a different type of chicken. Okay. I'm just going to okay. let you know. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to show you. This is not sweet. Just for that. This is not sweet. Oh, sauce. oh. Sweet and sour chicken. I come with the receipts. I come with the receipts. Well, it seems this is not the sweet and sour chicken that I'm. Sweet and sour chicken, white rice, right there. Listen, I. Right there, guys. I, this is not the sweet and sour chicken that I'm used to. Me neither, but this is what they sent. All right. All right. Let's see. We have the chicken and broccoli. Looks pretty good. With. I think there's the ginger chicken and broccoli, actually. Ginger chicken and broccoli. Yeah. Mongolian beef, which is a P.F. Chang staple, basically. You want some? Yes, yes, I'll have a little bit. And rice, yeah. I'm gonna put, I'm a big fan of white rice. I really want that Kung Pao shrimp. Okay. We have some Kung Pao shrimpers here with um, some peanuts. I like the spice. Okay. Bring on the heat. And would you like some fried rice? Yes. And then we have some fried rice here. Looks like we got shrimp fried rice. I'm gonna put some shrimp fried rice on my plate as well. He's really upset about the noodles. <laughs> we might have to just order the noodles after this. Yeah. <laughs> just for that. It's all right, it's all right. Listen, I'm, I'm, we'll be fine. All right. Okay. All right, let's dig in. I'm going for some Mongolian beefers first. Okay. This is definitely sweet and sour chicken. Really? Yeah. All right. Tastes exactly like it. Usually the sweet and sour chicken that I'm used to is doesn't have the sauce on top of they it. They put the sauce on it. I guess it's a new thing there. Or maybe that's how they do it to go. I don't know. Let me taste it. Definitely sweet and sour chicken. That was wrong. Listen. As he often is. Listen. If you are wrong, you gotta be the first one to admit it, okay? That's just the truth of the matter. Mm. I was wrong. Anyway, back to, this is the ginger chicken and broccoli. I can taste the ginger. Is it good? Yeah, it is good. I had the Kung Pao shrimp. They were good, but I thought Kung Pao was a lot spicier, no? Um. I am I wrong about that? I don't know, but... It wasn't as hot as I expected it to be. Mmm. Shrimp fried rice is good. Um, Mongolian I'm, beef is good. I'm a big fan of the sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> now after you hated on it the whole time, I, was, I don't know what kind of chicken this is. I was distracted. It is not sweet and sour. I was distracted by the absence of the lo, lo mein. But, uh, but this uh, is, is really good. Um, listen, we haven't had it in such a long time. No, this is a very nice change uh -huh. of mm -hmm. an entree. Or just a whole... A whole different pace. A whole different pace of a meal. Because we haven't had this in like years. And it's so good. Why don't you have it in years? Why do you have those other restaurants that like you forget that they're just okay? And then you order them again? We totally forgot that this was over here. Well, listen, P.F. Changers, I think, did a great job. Um, we haven't had in a while, and this is an honest review. I'm a big fan of the sweet and sour uh, chicken. I was. 
as well as the uh, the crab rangooner was a crowd favorite. Crab rangoon's a hit. Yeah, it was. You heard it here first. If you are a crab rangoon fan, you need to go to the situationstore.com and search mm -hmm. crab rangoon because we have men's and women's t-shirts like we're wearing. I also have it in a tank top and a hoodie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the best. And I just, I'm such a big fan of rice and because I'm on a diet all you the time. You love rice. I don't eat rice as much as I like to because I'm on a, I'm on a mm -hmm. sort of low carb diet. So this is like your vein of like a food you love. My guilty pleasure is, is, yeah. is rice and pasta. Yep. And the fans and subscribers have been asking for Chinese food for a while, I think. Yeah, you guys have been asking for Chinese food. Um, a lot of you are also asking for sushi, which maybe we'll do that in the next few weeks because they, our favorite sushi place does do takeout. Oh, they have the best sushi. Oh. So maybe we'll do that. That's interesting to film though. Yeah. Because you can't heat it up. Yep. But you want to eat it right away. We'll have to figure out the logistics we'll figure it out, on guys. that. But that is one of our favorite meals too. I really love the Mongolian beef. I went back in for seconds and that doesn't happen often. Wow, best. really? And I was making fun of him for wanting to order the Mongolian exactly. beef today. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I wanted the sweet and sour chicken and then I ended up loving the beef and he loved the chicken. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed beef shanks today, I did. Me too. I did. I saved crab rangoons for later, guys. <laughs> I actually, we don't really save food often during eating our best life we usually give it away to the cameraman but today we actually saved the crab rangooners the sparibs and some of the other food for later which is a uh, fun fact guys and i'm finishing my rice because i don't get to eat it often enough well i cold. definitely would recommend pf changers to um, our subscribers for sure Right, I'm just gonna try the ginger chicken and see what it's like. You can taste the ginger in this, good. Oh yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan of gingers too as well. It has like lemongrass in it too. Uh, for me. Which is good. It's like you can't have Chinese food either without the diet soda. That's you for me. You can't have anything without the diet soda. Very true. I'm gonna taste this, uh, what is this called, honey? Kung Pao shrimp. Kung Pao, the Kung Pao shrimpers. It's a little too much sauce for me. It's not bad at all. Also, you it's have, not bad. Also, because this is a takeout version, you need to understand the, the depreciation from the drive home. Yeah. Which they did a great job. I, I, they did good. do a great job. I think everything held up pretty well. It did. I'm very happy with the meal. I am full. I went back for seconds. It's all in all a success, I think. It's an eating our best life success. And we turned our L's into leftovers as well. And yes, exactly. I have crab rangoon leftovers for the evening. So I am happy. <laughs> I actually didn't get dessert because I didn't think the dessert up would hold up from the drive home. But we did get fortune cookies. We did, exactly. So that's so when we're, we're gonna, gonna do our that. scoring right now. Okay. The cameraman is gonna be hyped because we are handing him some chicken and broccolis with rice, okay? We're handing him some sweet and sour chickens with rice. We have the Mongolian beefers with rice. <laughs> we also have Kong Pao chickeners with rice. And shrimp. last but not least, this right here is, what is this, honey? Shrimp fried rice. Shrimp fried rice, there you go, enjoy. Wow. Now this is one of the benefits, guys, to actually helping the situations film, eating our best life. Because not only is it fun to film, but you also get tons of takeout to bring home to the missus. <laughs> A few moments later. We are at the end here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review, this honest review of P.F. Changers. And now for dessert, we have fortune cookies. I have three, my wife has three, and honey, if you get, you have to pick one, hopefully that's good. And <laughs> if you don't get, I'm three, obviously. And we'll give a score. 
So No, I like the one I got. But cool. one side has like a P.F. Chang fun fact. So we'll do the P.F. Chang fun facts first. Some say the most important role in the P.F. Chang kitchen is hand folding the dim sum. Oh. And then my quote. My quote. Yeah. My quote is, money will come to you when you are doing the right thing. Oh my God, we are, we are so doing the right thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to um, stay with mine as well. I'm not even gonna open up these other, these other two Whoa. because I'm not going to um, jinx my destiny, okay? Because mm -hmm. my quote here is, you will be called in to fulfill a position of high <laughs> honor and responsibility. <gasps> Oh my God. I think you're doing it right now. I think I am doing it right now. Um, and if you guys don't know, BDS works for government right now. Okay, I've just done a PSA for the uh, government of New Jersey a couple months ago for COVID, telling people to stay home, wear your mask, and uh, don't forget to uh, social distance, which is six feet apart. Um, and hence why, um, and I'm not saying that's what it's gonna be, but it seems my destiny <laughs> is of higher calling. And for that reason alone, I'm giving P.F. Changers an eight. Ooh. An eight. Guys, we are on the same page today, I have to say. And P of Chang's, oh. Mosey is so excited, Mosey. Oh, oh my God. Mosey, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> How, he never does that. Mosey, how dare you? He never does that. It's he like he know. It's like he's had a fortune cookie before. Someone must have given it to him. Honey, I don't. I don't know about that, honey. I, I feel like when he was a puppy, we used to live closer to P.F. Chang's, I, and someone fed him. I think it was the quote that got him to to really? get a little riled up. And as as am I, as am I. He's really hyped right now. He's hyped. Oh All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to close out. Uh, another right. episode of Eating Our Best Life with Mike Lawrence. Yeah, he just totally cut me off from my from my scoring. So <laughs> it seems like my score doesn't matter anymore. No, I was going to just say that cute little uh, sort of exit and then let you do your uh, your score. Okay, Mosey, come over here. You can come over here while I do my score. Come on. Sit. Oh. Uh, sit. <gasps> oh. Okay. All right. Okay. It's it's over now. It's over now. All right, honey. Give, give your score. All right, I was just trying to include him because he so desperately wanted to be here. Just, but... give, just give the score, honey. Okay, I'm giving P.F. Chang's a solid 8.0. I was very impressed with the quality of their food. So was Mosey. Even after being traveled for a long time because we don't live close to it. And everything was delish. I was impressed. I will be back, P.F. Chang's when you guys reopen. Yep, you guys did a great job. And thank you so much for watching another episode of Eating Our Best Life with Mike and Lawrence, the review of P.F. Changers. Mosey approves. Yes, guys. See you guys next time. So bad. We got a situation. Share, like, and subscribe.